So which belt would perform the best on a mini bike with a 30 series torque converter? The genuine Comet belt, 203589, or a direct replacement for that belt, say an eight to $10 belt, like a one PZ belt you can get on Amazon, or just your generic $5 belt that you can pick up on eBay. So this bike with a Predator 212, built rod, built flywheel, 265 cam with a GX160 head, and has a VM22 and a center exhaust header pipe. So it's your average build with a Juggernaut driver, a 30 series, and a green spring with a 40 tooth rear sprocket. So I have your generic eBay $5 belt. I think this one cost me $5.55 on eBay. And then I have your 1PZ belts. Which was it say? Premium drive belt. So the direct replacement for the Comet. So your mid-grade belt. Or at least in cost anyway. So you can get a three pack of these for 24 bucks, 25 bucks. And then I have your genuine Comet belt. I think this one here cost me, I think it was 28 and some change. So I'm gonna take the bike out for a zero to 30 and top speed with each belt and we'll see which one performs the best. So on this bike, I've always ran the 203 589 belt. I also have this 725 belt from Go Power Sports that I think I'm gonna throw in the mix just to see how it compares to the 589 as far as performance goes. Yeah, let's see the price on that belt. So that belt is $24.95, so it's about $5 cheaper than the Genuine Comet. So definitely a good belt. I'll go ahead and throw this one in the mix. All right, let's go see what the GPS belt does. Okay, zero to 30. Go Power Sports belt. So this thing's still pretty quick, even though it has the 40 tooth sprocket. So a 3.46, so it's pretty quick. So let me do a top speed on this. So I'm gonna do a top speed uphill. So it won't be the ultimate speed test for the bike, but it'll be consistent. So top speed run, go power sports belt. So the Go Power Sports belt did a 3.46, 0 to 30, and 50.15. Now I'll swap out that belt for the eBay belt, and we'll see what it does. Watch this juggernaut. Easy enough. Throw my eBay generic belt on here. I got it on there the right way. Let's go test out the generic belt. Test out the five dollar and fifty five cent generic eBay belt. Zero to thirty. Five dollar and fifty five cent belt. All 
I can definitely feel it slip more on that belt. So it probably is a little slower, I'm guessing. Yep, 3.67. You can definitely feel it slip more than the Go Power Sports belt. And then now we have the beat, 50.15. Yeah, the GPS belt, you can definitely feel a difference. It runs a lot better, at least on the takeoff. Okay, top speed run. $5.55 belt. what we did for top speed 47.26 man it lost a lot of top speed so the generic belt got beat up by the go power sports belt it was slower at top speed and it wasn't as quick so now i will swap out that generic belt for this one pz belt yeah de definitely a big difference with the go power sport belt I'll tell you that Yeah, that belt was uh, definitely slipped a lot more. So this one here, I'm gonna have to open up the uh, driven a little bit. Get that belt in there, because it's kind of stiff. Make sure I get that taper on the outside here. All right. Let's go test out the 1PZ belt. Zero to 30, one PZ belt. All right, let's see what we did. 3.69, so it's still a little bit slower than the uh, GPS belt. So let me do a top speed. All right, we gotta be 47.26 top speed to beat the uh, generic belt anyway, the cheapest belt. Okay, now see what we got. 47.35. So the 1PZ belt did very similar to the eBay belt or the $5.55 belt. So now I will swap out the 1PZ belt for the Genuine Comet belt. And you can already see on the 1PZ, you can see a little fraying already. And these pulleys are in alignment. Because the Go Power Sports belt has lasted months. Anyway, let me swap out this belt, throw the Comet on there. Yep. This thing ran very similar to the uh, $5 belt. Pop this off here first, makes it easier. It's being tight. Man, that belt left a lot of residue on here. Yeah, these belts definitely wear quick. Look at that thing. Already. Man, I left a lot of residue in there. Let me clean that off first. Clean up all this residue on this, uh, on this driver. Man, it's got all kinds of residue on there. I've never seen a belt leave that much residue that quick. That's a lot. So now we have the genuine Comet belt. Man, this thing feels beefy. Feels nice. Throw the juggernaut on here. Got the taper on the right side. Let's go 
I'll test out the genuine Comet belt. Now this one feels pretty good. Actually, it feels a lot better. This one feels similar to the um, to the Go Power Sports belt. Let's see if we get this draggy set up. Comet belt, zero to thirty. You can definitely feel it totally grip. 3.55. It was a little slower than the Go Power Sports, but right there. I mean, it's like very similar to the Go Power Sports. It feels pretty much the same. So I'll see what top speed is. So for the last belt, it was 47.35. Okay, top speed run with the Comet belt. we have our top speed oh yeah it's right there with the go power sports belt 50.37 so the go power sports belt and the comet belt feel very similar so the first belt go power sports belt 3.46 0 to 30 and 50.15 then i added the generic belt i got off ebay for five bucks and it dropped a couple tenths 3.67 you can definitely feel it on the bike it slips a lot taking off and then lost quite a few miles per hour, 47.26. Then I added the 1PZ belt, and man, that thing left a lot of residue on the driver and the driven. And it did 3.69, pretty much the same as the generic belt, a lot slower. And then 47.35, which is right there with the generic belt, lost quite a few miles per hour. Then I had the Comet belt, and that felt very similar to the Go Power Sports belt. I mean, it did 3.55, and the Go Power Sports was actually a tenth quicker, 3.46. But they feel very similar taking off. I mean, they don't slip. But then the Comet Belt was the fastest out of all of them, 50.35. So it was a little bit faster than the Go Power Sports Belt, 50.15. I mean, so they're both right there. The Go Power Sports Belt and the Comet Belt. I mean, they're very similar. So after just one ride up the street, you can see the total wear on that belt, and it's already fraying. Well, this is the belt that left the residue on the driver driven. I've never had a belt do that before. I haven't had any experience with them, but it doesn't seem like they'd last very long. Then the generic belt, this one looks a lot better than the uh, than the One Piece D belt after one ride. Then the Go Power Sports belt, I've had this belt for months and it still looks almost new. And then you have the Comet Belt, still looks new after that one ride. This is not a sponsored video. I did this video on my own, but for my money, I'm either going to buy the Go Power Sports Belt or the Comet Belt. I mean, it's definitely worth the extra money. So which belt would last the longest? Drop a comment let me know if you've had any experience with these belts. So I definitely learned a lot in this video. So thanks to 504 Mini Bikes for giving me the video idea.